Hey Scorpio, welcome to Healing Guys to Row. This is going to be your bonus love reading for March 2021. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. What do we have going on? For Whoa, look at them coming out. Wow. Let go of ego and inspire others. Wow. They came flying out. And then we have understand your body. Okay. We'll see where, how this come, plays out here. But you're going to inspire others. Get out of your head. Get out of your ego. Go into your spirit. Inspire in spirit. Okay? And understand your body. Then we have study. So you might be learning something new here. And you're learning this because you're going to inspire others by doing this. And meditation. Yeah. Inspire in spirit. Go into meditation. Get out of the physical. Let go of that ego. Okay, and let's get an old card here. Let's see what else we have. Horse, care for others and let them be free. Yes, yeah, so you're you're gonna be taking care of others. You're gonna be helping them. And we have rat. Be true to yourself, and the universe will reward you. Archangel Gabriel and Zachiel. Zachiel. Hmm. Huh. All right. Now, what do we have going on for Scorpio? What's up, Scorpio? Let's see what's going on for Scorpio in their love life, please. What's going on for Scorpio in their love life? Okay. King of Cups. Here's your energy. There you are. You're feeling a lot of love here. Okay, and we're crossing you. We have choices. Okay, Scorpio. So you might have more than one choice in love. And we have the moon. Pisces energy. Could be your energy too. Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, it's very emotional. There's a lot of emotions coming through to the top here. Got a lot of choices though. And there might be something hidden too. Let's see. Huh. In the recent past, we have the Queen of Cups. That could be your energy. But we do have the King and Queen of Cups here. So this could be you, that could be you, either way. But there's someone from your past here, it looks like. Another Scorpio or a Pisces or a Cancer or just that loving, nurturing energy. Someone from your past. Okay, and there's some kind of conflict. Uh, maybe arguing, competition. Well, if you have a lot of choices, there's probably competition for you. And this person from the past might be standing out a little more than the rest. Or they're watching you, but definitely looking at you. You're looking straight ahead. And this person's looking at you. Probably want, offering the cup and wondering if you're going to take it because of all this competition. Ooh, and this is someone from the past coming in. This could be this, this Queen of Cups here. And they're coming in. They might be willing, willing to fight for you here. Whoa, so there's going to be some new beginning. You're coming in very strong that you have a lot of, lot of stuff going for you. Hmm, and someone sees you as being very stable and reliable and um, confident. Very strong. Probably doing really well with money. Or finances, your business. Might be someone that has their own business. Or you might be a lawyer or um, a financial advisor. Or someone just does really well in finances. Oh, so what? You might be getting married or, com or in a serious commitment. You have all these choices. Maybe you're going to be... Not playing the field. Maybe you were playing the field, but someone's coming in that's going to take care of you, and um, you know that's it. You're gonna, you might come, might get serious with someone. Ah, and we have a lot of passion here. Someone can see you as very sexy and attractive and um, alluring and uh, romantic. Yeah, but very attracted to you. There's a lot of attraction here. At the bottom we have judgment. Yeah, this is definitely could be someone coming back from the past with a judgment. Trying to um, renew something that you thought was over. 
Okay. Let's see. Why do we have the King of Cups here? Why do we have the King of Cups here? Can I have to make a decision? Yeah, well, you have all these choice cards. You're definitely on trying to make a decision. It might be between two people. Why do we have the Seven of Cups crossing you? King of Swords. Okay, getting to the truth. Using your intellect. You might be using your head over your heart to make a decision here. This also could represent an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini person coming in. A very smart, very intelligent, quick, quick witted, <laughs> I want to say. Okay, the moon. Why is the moon here? High Priestess. Okay, now here's both cards are about secrets here. But this is you being in your intuition, being um divinely guided, very spiritual. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. Definitely trying to make a decision. There's contrast. There's two different ways of looking at something here. But there are secrets. Can't hide too much from a high priestess, though. You are the high priestess in this. So if someone's trying to hide something, they're not going to get away with it. Okay, why is the Queen of Cups here in the past? Ooh. This was, someone might be really fixated on you. Or you could be fixated on them. This is also could be a Capricorn. This could be some kind of, um, this person in the past could have some addiction problems. Or they just, um... Yeah, they could just be addicted to you or just, um, you know, can't let you go. Obsessed. Connected um, in an unhealthy way. Okay, why do we have the Five of Wands here? Strength. Okay. Leo energy. So... You're going to have the strength to overcome whatever these obstacles are that are um, crowning you here with this um, competition or this um, whatever struggle is. You're going to be able to um, handle this fine. Okay, why do we have the Six of Cups here coming in for you? Ooh. This is going to make you really happy, or you make someone really happy, whoever this person is from the past. But this person coming in is Ten of Cups. It's, it's a relationship that's going to be really good for you. Okay, why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay, someone's working on this. Someone's working on a new beginning. You're working on a new beginning. You might be working on a new project or something new. You're putting a lot of time into this. I think you're just putting a lot of time into your work. Okay. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Hierophant. Yeah, you look like... Um, I think people see you as very stable, reliable, um, made very conventional or marriage material they definitely see you as someone that the, um that they can give their heart to or that maybe this is representing going to uh to church or or going to you know to get married to going to a court or wherever could also be a Taurus because we do have the King of Pentacles and we do have the Hierophant. And the King of Pentacles is Virgo, Can oh, okay. Virgo, Capricorn, or Cancer. What am I doing? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And the Hierophant is Taurus. Wow. That was confusing. I don't know why. I know the signs. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Why do we have the Four of Wands here? 
Ooh, Ace of Swords again. Yes, someone wants to come in and make you an offer here. They're working on this. They see this as a, a lot of potential, something very exciting. Could also be a, um, there's communication coming, that's for sure. Someone sees this as um, an opportunity that would be really good. This, um, yeah. Let's clarify why the Queen of Wands here. And we definitely have, someone wants a new beginning. They're working on this new beginning. Ooh. Someone felt left out in the cold by you. But you might have, um, they see you as very sexy and luring and attractive. But you might have left them. And, they're, and they want to come forward, but they're maybe they're afraid that you're going to leave them again. Here's judgment. Definitely a reconciliation coming in. We got judgment on both bottoms of both these decks. Someone definitely wants to bring something back from the dead. They want to bring this relationship back. But they're afraid that they, they find you so attractive, but they're afraid that you're not going to, you're not going to take them back. They were, you might have left them. And they're afraid you'll do it again if you do take them back. So they're a little afraid of doing this, but they really want to to manifest this. Let's get some more cards on this. What else do we have for Scorpio here? What else do we have for Scorpio? Yes, four wands again. They definitely want to have a serious relationship with you, a commitment. Someone wants to come back. Knight of Pentacles. Yes, very strong pentacle here. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Come moving towards you. Slowly but surely. Hmm, okay. Two of Pentacles. Trying to make a decision. Trying to decide how to come towards you, I think. They're like they have to decide. They're on the fence a little bit, but they're leaning towards coming towards you. They just don't know how to do it, I think. They know you have a lot of competition here. And maybe, you know, also this Queen of Cups here is in the way. Seven of Wands. Yes, this person sees you as standing above the rest. Of They see the spiritual connection. They see your spiritual connection. They see you as this High Priestess. But there might be people interfering. I think people are trying to talk them out of this. Or this could be someone trying to talk you out of something. But I feel more like someone's trying to talk this person out. They have two of pentacles and two of swords. I've, there's decisions being made here. There, There's a choice that has to be made. But I feel like someone's trying to keep this person from coming towards you. Okay. It might be the queen of cups here interfering okay so we have the nine of wands you've been through a lot you've been through a lot of struggles but you're you're doing well now whatever you've been through i think this is over things are working better now there's going to be communication coming here quickly towards you i think it's this person i think this is pinnacle this queen of um cups i don't really like this energy too much for you i don't think they're stable I think this um, pentacle will be a much better choice. Let's, um, let's just throw a couple more of these and then we'll do the romance angels. What else can we get here for Scorpio, please? Page of Cups. Yes, someone's going to come and offer you their love. That could be a... doesn't have to be a... but it could be a no Scorpio or Pisces or Cancer. Or it could just be someone coming in. They might be coming in a little bit shaky a little like they might be immature or they might be younger than you or they just might be their approach might be a little bit immature but they do want to offer you a cup they want it they want to tell you that they're interested in you ten of pentacles yeah they see you as their wish fulfillment of bringing um everything they want in life that that you will just um you're the world to them and I think finances are coming in for you. Yep, 
yeah, so Ten of Pentacles and Ten, there's an end of this, whatever this was that you're going through, that it's over, and now you're going to be getting, you might have been not doing good financially, but now the money's coming in. Something's ending, though. These burdens, look at this, three tens in a row. Wow. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and Ten of Wands. So this is all, this is ending for this new to begin. This, this, whatever this was, this burden that you had, it's over and it's bringing you this Ten of Pentacles. Justice. Yeah, it's going to bring you justice. Things are going to work in your favor. Get another card and then we'll go into the romance angels, please. Two of Pentacles again. Okay, yes, yeah, someone's trying to balance, someone's trying to make a decision, figure out how they could come in with this offer. This is Libra energy here. Ace of Cups, they want to offer you this cup. This, they have a lot of love for you. They're trying to figure out how to do this. They're, or this person could have been going through a lot and, and they ended something and they got rid of burdens in order to come and now they're doing well financially. Okay, let's get some romance angels on this for Scorpio. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, this person definitely wants a commitment here. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Faith. Whoop. Oh. And we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You should probably go on a little mini vacation or go on vacation with this person. And engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level commitment. Yes, this person definitely wants to be engaged, to get married, to have a commitment with you. They're they're really serious. They want to, um, this is someone from the past. They want to come back in. You know, they're afraid that you reject them, but... This is a past person. They see you as the Ten of Cups of happiness and and um, Four of Wands. You know, they want to get married. They want to be serious. All right, Scorpio, I hope you liked your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.